Hi everybody, it is Jay Crater with PowerDriver.org and I've gotten a few questions about does it make sense to travel to San Francisco in order to, uh, to work for Uber and Lyft? And my answer is absolutely yes. Now if you try and book a hotel, you're going to be hard pressed to find anything that's under $100 per night, which eats up quite a bit of your, your earnings uh, from Uber and Lyft. So every week I go out, I make $2,000. That's my, that's my minimum goal. Uh, I've done as much as $3,500, uh, but $2,000 is the, is the bare minimum in five days of work. Now, how much of that is going to get eaten up if you get a hotel? Uh, well, if you, spend, if you can find $100 a night, that's going to be four nights, and that's $400. That's pretty significant. Um, so what I recommend is using Airbnb. So if you haven't used Airbnb yet, give it a, give it a shot. Um, you can go to their website, you can put in the location that you're interested in, which would be San Francisco, and then um, what you're looking for. So you can look for a private room, or you can also look for a shared room, all right? Now, I have, uh, up until just a few weeks ago, always gone with a private room, <laughs> which I highly recommend. Uh, Private rooms are a little more expensive, but I was always able to find something in the $50 range um, uh, looking for a private room. However, the last few weeks, uh, I, got, I, I booked my rooms a little bit too late and there weren't any private rooms available. So I went with the shared room, which uh, are a little bit less. You can get them for around $35 to $40, but usually you're gonna be in a bunk bed with three or four other people in the same room uh, you're going to be hard pressed to have a good night's sleep because people talk, they wake up, they go to the bathroom, and if you're a light sleeper, um, that can be a challenge. I'm a heavy sleeper, but I still, if someone turns the lights on in a room, I'm going to wake up. So um, I don't really recommend the, uh, the shared room. Uh, I haven't had any really great experiences with it, but if you're stuck, that's a low-cost uh, alternative. Now the other thing about Airbnb, which is great, is if you have an issue, and I've had a few issues uh, with the places that I stayed, you can usually get some kind of a refund or a credit. So there is a guarantee for a service that you're going to get uh, what you paid for, and if you didn't, um, you can get, a, get some kind of a credit or a refund. The other thing that I uh, have done is if you find a place that you like, you can, once you've fulfilled your Airbnb agreement, you can then talk to the person and see if they might want to do a, a, an arrangement with you on a more permanent basis, not through Airbnb, but just directly with them. And that's the situation I have now, where I pay a woman $50 a night. I have a great room, private room, really nice shower facilities, not, not far from the city. Uh, in fact, it's a great area for me to just get in my car and turn on my app and get started. So uh, that's the other thing you can do for, on a more long-term basis. So there's a few tips and techniques on, on how you can uh, get into San Francisco, make your $2,000, only spend about $200 on, on your, your room and board, and, um, and, and still make a nice paycheck each and every week after expenses. So this is Jay Crater with PowerDriver.org. Uh, I want to invite you, if you're not a, a Lyft driver or you're not an Uber driver, um, go ahead and click on either of the links uh, that are on my website um, or that are below here if you're watching this on YouTube and sign up with me and uh, then you can use me uh, as a coach and I'd be happy to help you and answer any questions that you might have. Okay, bye bye for now.